The Montgomery Fire Department remembered 9-11 with a ceremony in front of the department's headquarters. Fire Chief Mifford Jordan vowed he and his fellow first responders will never forget what happened 23 years ago today. The men and women of Montgomery Fire and Rescue remember the 343 New York City firefighters and paramedics killed that day while rushing into the Twin Towers as everyone else was rushing to get out. We remember the 23 police officers of the New York City Police Department and the 37 Port Authority police officers killed. And that ceremony also honored the 15 Montgomery firefighters who have died in the line of duty. Bradville held a similar ceremony this morning. It started at 746. That's the time the first plane flew into the World Trade Center. The leaders used this ceremony to teach a lesson for students who were born after the terrorist attacks. It's so much more important for them to know, for us to have the ceremonies for them, not necessarily for, for, for people like myself who remember exactly where they were during the day whenever the, this event uh, happened and how tragic it was. But we got to keep that remembrance going on, and that's why through this meetings or functions like this, have the youth involved. That's the only way for them to learn. And that's the city of Tuskegee holding its own 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony at the Municipal Complex there this morning. It was filled with patriotic song and a word from city leaders honoring those who were killed in the attacks and those who lost their lives trying to save others. It's the feeling of arriving at the scene of an incident and your sixth sense telling you this one is going to be dangerous and you might not make it home. I have no doubt the men and the women who responded to the World Trade Center, that day had that same feeling as they got off their rigs and out of their patrol cars. They had the feeling and they went ahead anyway. Many of them to a certain death. And that event ended with the placing of memorial wreaths, the playing of taps, and a final call. Several other cities held similar events today. We'll have much more on those coming up in our afternoon and evening newscasts.